Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, let's pick up where we left off in the story, shall we? Again. All right. First off, I gotta sync up the video. So, down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up, up, down. All right. So, uh, where were we? Oh, that's right. We needed to go kill the guys with the stuff. Hi there. Good day. Uh, guide Lapto Zero Zero. The law prohibits humans from going to the signet sphere. Thus, the flying disc cannot be used. So this is the signet sphere ahead, huh? Wingly Code Article 703. The law prohibits non-winglies from going to the signet sphere. But I'm a wingly! No magic power as a wingly recognized. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? What, my day? It means that my father can't pass here either. Oh, yeah, that's right! I want to hug Maru. It means we still have time left. Quick, get your Pokeball. Cool. All right. I think there's a chest up in that top right-hand corner. Am I right? Is my counter rate going up? Yes. There's not. Cool. All right, well, let's get going, chill. So this is the second city. Oh, hold on a second. Let me turn down my own volume. All right, cool. So this is the second city out of three uh, before we essentially kick off the end of the Vigima game. Oh, hold on one second, guys. Uh, while I'm saving, I gotta check a Discord message. Hold on one second, I'm sorry. It's Gaily. She says, I'm heading to know now. We'll talk when I get there. I'm gonna send her a rude happy. Because I will probably be playing this game and therefore be unable to talk. Uh, she'll understand. Alright, hi. Warning, under martial law, visitations allowed only to Legislation Center, Law Factory, and Law Launcher, Great Court, Residential Area, Power Room, are off limits. We can't go to the place where the Signet Sphere is? Impossible. The law prohibits humans, otherwise known as filthy meat bags, from going to the Signet Sphere. Impossible. The law prohibits humans from going to the Signet Sphere. Uh, didn't you just say that? Well. There seems to be a ways to talk to them. Come, let us focus on how we can possibly proceed. Alright. It seems we can decide the destination with this Operation Counter. Determine the destination, little bitch. What was that? Nothing. Alright, well I want to go to the Legislation Center. Decision confirmed. Get on the disc, punk. What was that? Nothing. Little bitch. What? I'm leaving, you're a jerk. Peace out. All right, so I don't remember what order we want to take this stuff in, by the way. I, I think it's this. I think? I don't know. Because I don't know <laughs> I don't know how laws are made. So it's the... Oh, does my encounter rate go up here? It doesn't. All right, so... What are the options? <laughs> oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be a long video of me literally just wandering around going, oh, duh. I don't know where to go. You're at the flying disc station departure from Legislation Center. Determine your destination. Bitch. Uh, let's see here. We don't want to get a teleporting device. There's the Law Factory and the Law Launcher. So the Law Launcher puts the law into effect. I think the legislation is a pass and the Law Factory is to come up with it? I don't know. Um, let's do the Factory. Decision as you can get on the disc. Alright, cool. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna go to the factory first. Well, that was easy. Uh, hi. Sell me items. You won't. Wingly, a minute code article 339. Usage by non Winglies of the shops is not prohibited. Okay, well, I would like to use it. Which shop? Weapon shop. Okay, okay. Alright. Well, there's a great axe. Which is, I mean, uh, that looks mighty great. You can buy GLaDOS? Well, we have to buy GLaDOS. Gotta buy the Great Axe. Uh, do I buy them just to have them? I think I might. Let's see, what are these? All these amulets? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy them just to have them. Cool. Because I have the money. All right. And, uh, use item shop. So I can finally kind of sort out my inventory because it's been a minute. All right, what do I want to sell? Anything? Spear potion. Yes. And we want to sell body purifier. 
And we want to sell... Psychic Bomb was messing. Do I want to sell Magic Sigil Stone? Not really. I know I don't want to sell Smoke Bomb. Uh, I do have a lot of Sun Wrath Bedeath. I'll probably afford to sell two. So how many of those do I have? Twelve? Yeah, I'm going to sell two of them. Because there's a, I'm going into an area that has a lot of items, and I want to be able to pick up said items. Alright, so we go from here. <laughs> you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Nope. I'm the gingerbread. Nope. I'm still the gingerbread man. Alright, go. Uh oh. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I want him to go all the way over there. Go. Nope. Perfect. I want this item, I want this item, I want this item. Got it. Spectral Flash. Was that even worth it? I don't know. I think I already have one of those. I'm about to get a whole bunch of items that I probably already have again. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Alright, next. Come on. You, you can't catch me. I'm still the gingerbread man. What's this? Night Raids. Yeah, give me all the... Darkness. Uh oh, I got caught. All right, cool. So you do actually want to get caught by these guys once, because you do they do lead you to a pretty decent item from my remembrance. Also, you can change the law to make it so these guys don't even chase you if you really get tired of them, which we probably will, just because it's funny. Rainbow dress. I wish I could wear dresses, but I'm a guy, and it's gay if I do that. Shit. All right. Come on. No. Alright, cool. Now let's go. Well, I guess I could wear a, a kilt, right? That's not gay. That's just uh, Scottish. Would it rather be Scottish or gay, though? I don't know. Alright, what you got? No, no. I want to say things. Submit law production license issued by Legislation Center. A law production license? What's this guy talking about? Mm, if you don't have one, step back. You're hindering fulfillment of the quota. Alright, so we go to the Legislation Center first. So let's go ahead and get caught. Because <sighs> I'm going to write down some laws real quick, guys. And I'm... Oh, my leg! Alright, so I want to write down... On my sheet that I have written down my, uh... Um... I don't want to get caught. On my, um... Jesus, my lines for my play. And... Wait for it. Crutch. Hey, but we all didn't crunch to death. Yay. Are we arrested? Darn. What timing. Everybody's feeling the same way, Dart. Or meatbags, by the way. Yes, Miranda, I know. My fist hurts from punching the wall. We have to focus on how to get out of here. I don't do good with enclosed spaces. I'm gonna start seething out, man. It's gonna be like a rabid weasel in here. I'ma kill somebody. It's out, Astro. Please calm down. Hey, I'll do it. All right. Well, we'll find a way to get out of here. It seems that they're arresting people and sending them here. <gasps> Maru, look at her being awesome. I wish I could fly. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I, I'd be afraid of falling. Yeah, it's not really the flying that scares me; it's the falling. But it seems there's no device to get out of here. You can't just be awesome, Maru, and get us out here? Maybe... no exit? I just want to think about a room without an exit. See? That's what I'm talking about. Hey, wait a second. One... two... Did we forget somebody? Holy shit! I'm sorry, Gongol is late. <sighs> Gongol had to run very far, very fast. Ugh. Gongol! What? Uh, uh, what? Why is only Kongo outside? Gongo do not know. It's simple, really. He was too heavy to teleport. Now we can get out. Alright, let's go. Uh, also, your enemy encounter goes up in these areas, but I... Hi, give me the code. Found people, which Wingly code article 659. Okay, so 659. Arrested. Rest of development. Cool. What's this? Flash Hall? That's the lightning thunder based attack. 
I'm gonna throw all these magics I'm getting, by the way, at the next boss. I'm just gonna chuck them at him. I don't plan on throwing a single attack, just magics. But I think you find one of every spell here, like one of every super spell, so. But these are also the last place you can get them. You can't buy them, so, you know. Psychic Bomb. Yo! So, those guys with the scythe, they can insta-kill you, should they get an attack off, but you know. What are you gonna do? Boom. Easy. Alright, well that was that down. Yeah, combat's just a minor inconvenience. <gasps> Is anyone gonna level up? Maru and Miranda are close to be 38. I don't know how Dart is so far ahead of everybody. Oh, that's right. I spent hours grinding with him. All right. What's over here? 200 bucks! All right. Whee! I like how they just let me leave prison. I guess there's no law against you leaving prison. All right, but I need a legislation... Le a legis... A leg... A leg... A leg I need a legislation license. You are the flying death departure service. Determine your destination. Good. Get out of my sight. Thank you, sir. Alright, so we go to Legislation Station, and we get the thing, and then from there we go to the factory? I think? I don't know. It's, but it's like, determine the law you want to change. I'm pretty sure that's it. Alright, let's, let's go. So we take the teleporter here. Don't arrest me! Don't arrest me! Alright, and then we go up here. We open this chest, which has... Frozen jet, yo! And then we go here. Go to the next one. Perfect. I wonder if I can reach that. Yeah, can't carry any more items. All right. Um. I don't. I don't need that many sunrise pieces. Burning wave. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of every uh, super powered. Um. <gasps> cool. One of every, uh, super-powered magic spell. Like, one max power one. So, eh, you know, I'll take it. Uh, I don't think I've thrown, but maybe a handful of them. Yeah, I think there's one- I think there's three of each in the game. Objection to this bill? None thus. Punishment for invasion, so you have to wait in line. Next deliberation! And I just stand still. I don't bother pushing up. Wingly Federation Law. Any objections to this bill? None thus. Uh, verification for Wingbeast is enforced. Law of issue is predicts is prediction next deliberation. Alright. I wanna go. For service, stand in the center. I am. For the submission is this a submission of a bill? Yes. Yes. Submit it at once! Wait a minute. Well, we want just want to we want to go to where the sigma sphere is. Waste of time. Leave promptly. Next. Dang it. Alright, so now we have to wait in line. Oh, well, I guess we can just see what it's all this about. <sighs> this game has real time waiting. It's like being at the DMV, dude. So I guess we want to revise the bill. We don't want to submit a bill. Got it. So I, I clicked the wrong button. Alright. Wingly veneration law again. So you can just change the laws in this area. You can even change the law that lets them sell you items. Uh, thus making it where they can't sell you items. Yay! Alright, let him leave. Then I go. There's service stand in the center. Is this a mission of a bill? No. No. Is this a revision of a law? Yes. Yes? State the number of the article to be revised. Even we can change the law? Uh, it is revised if necessary. State the number of the article to be revised. State the first digit from the left. Uh, six. State the second digit from the left. Five. State the third digit from the left. Nine. We the Code Article 659 deliberation on amendment to trespassers shall be teleported to jail. Uh, trespassers shall be teleported to jail. Operation no license issues takes us to the law factory. Yay! Next deliberation. All right, cool. We had repossession. All right, so now we go to the law factory. We get the law like patented, basically, or something. 
well, not patented, but we get it like set. All right, this is gonna be a real thing. And then we go to the law launcher. And then from there, it becomes a law. Chase me. Cool. Chase me. But the law that I'm revising right now just means so uh, I don't have to play this little mini game each time. I can just run from pad to pad to pad. These guys just sit there. They don't teleport me to jail anymore. All right. So now I want to go to the law factory. Law factory. And then law launcher. Wee! Easy. All right. Now it's the law factory. Dun 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 dun. And I play this little mini game again. So there's gonna be a lot of me running around and avoiding these guys to the best of my ability. But the cool part is I don't have to go for treasure chests anymore, so it's a little bit uh easier. This is probably the only tough one because that guy is fast. Oh no! Cool. I hate getting caught by this guy here because he's also really fast. This guy's just annoying. Oh god! Yay! Alright, and then from here, I forget exactly what I get from this area. Hey, no, talk to me. Submit a law production license issued by legislation. Law production license. This should be it. Understood. Launching of law is required for the enforcement of the law. Law license is issued. Take this to the law launcher. And the process is complete. Step back. You are hindering fulfillment of the quota. Complaints will be brought to the legislation center. All right. So now we go launch it, and then we are done playing this mini game. And uh, out of curiosity, I am going to look up to see what other laws I can change. If there's like any cool Easter eggs I can do in this area. Let him pass. Mommy. Yay. <sighs> I wasn't scared. You were scared. Because it's hard to tell if they see you or not. Alright, cool. Now let's go. Uh, while it's loading, though, I am going to pull up the next area. Or, like, just pull up this area to see uh, if there is uh, other laws we can change just for funsies. Alright, legislation center? No, law launcher. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So we go... Uh, Uh, wall city. Cool. Uh, no, not the guide. I don't care about that. Just give me the wiki. Because wiki's got a lot of really good things. Alright, so these are the Wingly codes. Alright. So, oop. I hit Y by accident. So we're doing... Alright. Uh, go. Nope. This guy makes me nervous. <laughs> Alright, we'll be fine. Go, 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 go! Can't carry any more items. Alright, I guess we're just getting rid of a whole bunch of sun raspities. So we're down to like eight of them. But this, I mean, we're not gonna use all eight of them. Downburst, yay! Alright. Cool. I'm gonna go this way. Open this chest. Spirit cloak. Uh, isn't Spirit Cloak like, oh yeah, if you take physical damage or something, you get SP. Arguably pretty useless. Oh, go! Alright, cool. I'm gonna go this way. This way. Open this up. Gravity Grabber. Whoa, I should have gotten caught there. And we're done playing this minigame. Thank goodness. Alright. Hi. Uh, we have to find a station for the law launcher. Thank you. Wee! I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. All right, cool. Uh, wait your turn. Submit a law launching license issued by the factory. Law launching license. This should be it. Understood. The law will be enforced when the process is complete. Step back. You are hindering the fulfillment of quota and complaints will be brought to the law factory. Yay! So now we don't have to play that mini game anymore. Alright, so what are the other amendments? So there's Wingly Code 339, which shops adjacent to Law Factory shall henceforth cease and desist and engage in lawful trade with non-Winglies. 
So if I, for whatever reason, want to no longer be able to buy items, I can do that. Yeah, these guys don't chase you anymore. Um, the other one is 410, uh, which is the transportation to the next city, but I, the party has to, I think, beat the boss of this area first. Um, 604 is I waiting in line to pass a law is hereby suspended, so you no longer have to wait in line. That sounds like fun. Uh, let's do that next. I'm just having fun with this. Uh, Legislation Center, go! Okay, so 604 is you don't have to wait in line anymore. Um, 659 is you can't get arrested. Law 666, martial law being suspended. Uh, incursion by humans into this phase shall be hindered by placement of monsters within the city after the party overcomes the three executioners. So after, so hold on. Transportation to Sigma Sphere enabled. So I, I want to do, for funsies, I want to do 604, which means I don't have to wait in line anymore. Although arguably I'm going to spend longer time making this a law. But I mean, it's just funny. The humor value is there for me. Alright, so we're going to do that one. And then after that, you can turn off enemy encounters? I never knew that was a thing, and I'm going to do that. But I have to beat the boss. So we're going to do this two more times. Well, three more times, probably. Oh, oh, oh! Alright, cool. Um, if Dart and company never get caught by the robot police, then there's no way to get down to the jail level. So it's recommended that players get caught at least once. It only takes a minute, less on success, uh, successful visits, and there are two chests down there. As can be seen, the player must amend one, uh, can amend more than, as can be seen, the player must amend one more than, hold on, what? As can be seen, the player must amend more than one law to proceed. Amending code 659 or even 666 before other laws will speed up the process in the long run. It is not known whether the law will simply... It is not known whether or not the laws can simply be toggled back and forth. Although it seems likely given the potential dire implications of code 339. So amend 666 at your own risk. What is 666? I shall be suspended. Incursion by humans into Zeno City shall not be hindered by placement of monsters within the city limits. So what does that mean? Does that mean, like, don't do it? I don't know what that means. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see this, guys, because I just want to make sure, like... Alright, we're just gonna, for right now, we're just gonna make it so I don't have, ever have to wait in line again. This is not a proposal for a new law. Uh, next. Wait, 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 I messed up! Oh, he asked this was a revision again. Damn it. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, waiting in line. Yeah, so 604, so we'd never have to wait in line again. Stupid laws. Uh, wouldn't this be fun if this is how laws actually worked? You just got to run around and change them? Dude, if you got to remake this game, do you know how fun it would be to just, like, make up your own laws kind of deal? Like, all non-Wigglies, all non-Wigglies get, uh, like, 10% off items or something. And poor Maru doesn't get 10% off items. Like, you can just, you can have a lot of fun with it. Next deliberation. And then we wait. Cool, cool, cool. Is this a revision of the law again? Yes. Yes? State the number of the article you wish to revise. Uh... Six. Uh... Four. Oh. We need code six four. I wish this minute for those who disturb order shall be ignored without exception. All right. Go. Next deliberation. We. Wall possession. We just have like these little robots running around, changing walls all over the place. Like, no, I don't want to my to pay taxes ever again. Could you imagine that's how laws actually worked? It'd be great. What a wonderful place we'd live in. Everyone. <laughs> uh, isn't there a place in America that there isn't any law? There's like some place out in Nevada or something. I want to say that was the case. Like it was like in the middle of the desert, and because of some weird like Indian like tribe that used to be there, 
uh, it was never part of America or something, so you can just, um, you can do whatever you want there and there's no repercussions. Of course, they say that, but I, I find that very hard to believe that, like, if I brought someone out there and I gave them the bob, you know, like, I just <laughs> them on the head and they're not waking up anymore, that there would not be any repercussions for me. I'm waiting when I get back to, you know, America in a sense. Which, I'm not even sure how that works, because I had an idea one time. I said, hey, why don't I just go out to, like, a, a store, get, like, a credit card. And with that credit card, I just charge the heck out of it. You know, I live like a king. And then as soon as that first bill comes, I buy a plane ticket and I fly to, like, Australia or something. Uh, where, like, let's say that credit card company doesn't exist. Like, let's say it's, like, a... I don't know. Is there a place that doesn't have, like, credit cards like that? I don't know, like, 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 just purely American bank, and not foreign, and, um, when I'm there, you know, like, they can't chase me, right? Is That's not how it works. I mean, do they alert local law enforcement, and then I somehow will get, like, taxed over there or something? Or not taxed, but I guess I get in trouble for, I mean, not paying? I mean, like, because you can do that with medical bills, can't you? Like, let's say I have, like... So super crazy high surgery, because, I mean, let's face it, the hospitals, yeah, they are exist all over the world, but they're not owned by the same people. In fact, I think in other countries, they're owned by the, like, country? Is that right? Like, I, I, I honestly have no idea. Because, I mean, it makes me wonder, like, how exactly that works. You know, because can I go, like, get a um, super expensive surgery and then go to another country and just never pay the bill? Like, I really don't think that's at all how it works, but... I don't know. Also, there's no way I'm the first person who's ever thought about this, so I'm sure there's already something in place to uh, prevent me from doing that. Alright, so after this, we will no longer ever have to wait in line again. The robots won't chase us. The city is ours. And then we will change the law that prevents us from going to the uh, Signet Sphere. Although I really want to change the one law that says, uh, as you see, the player must amend. Cool. Uh, as you see, the player must amend one more. Must amend more than one law to proceed. Amend code five, uh, six five nine, or even six 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 before other laws will speed up the process in the long run. So six five nine is all oh, right. You don't go to prison, or you, they don't chase you. Cool. Yay! I don't wait in line anymore. All right. Um. Or even 666. Uh, for other social media process long run, it is not known whether or not the laws can simply be toggled back and forth, although it seems likely given the potential dire implications of code 639. So I'm in 666 to your own risk. Oh, like to encounter enemies? Yeah, let's do 666 as well. So that means this area also has no encounters. And you can turn it back on. I know you can uh, turn laws on and off. I've done it before in other playthroughs. Uh, because for funsies, I decided to see if I could. I bought all the items I needed to from the shop, and then I decided to turn the shop off. Like, I amend the code that said they couldn't sell to me, and, um, I was like, hey, these guys can no longer sell to me, and, uh, they absolutely can still sell to you, uh, if you turn the law back on. Alright, so we want to go one more, uh, to the Legislation Center. Alright, yeah. Cool. At least I don't have to wait in line this time, I just run right up there. Like, the longest part of all of this is literally just taking all the teleporters. Which would be one fun law to change, like, the teleporters no longer link to the other silly stuff. They just go straight to where you want to go. Also, could you imagine if you had to, uh, wait this entire time? I mean, like... I, what I was saying is, like, if you had to, uh, do this every single time like I'm doing, you could just go straight to it. That'd be so cool. And, what, one more, I think? Hopefully this is the last one. Yay! And 666. Six, six. Martial law suspended. Uh, we may code article 6 years, we should ignore that exception. <laughs> yeah, I just want to go. <laughs> yes, this is a revision of a law. Safe the number of the article being a rise. They did it from the left. I just ignore people. 6. Uh, what about the second one? Six. I wonder if the developers of the game knew they were making 666. 
Currently under martial law. This law cannot be amended. Next. What? No, I want- no. You're going to... You're going to- you're going to hear me out. Alright, let's go ahead and do the next one. Yes. Uh, state the number of the article. Uh, seven... Zero... Three. And I could seven zero three. Delicious and the law prohibits non wheelies from going to the Sigmund Sphere. Uh, will now no longer prevent them from going to the Sigmund Sphere. Take this to the law factory. Next, deliberation. Wee. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the Sigmund Sphere. So I guess I can't do 666 six, six until I beat this area? I guess? I don't know. Uh, we'll try it again when I beat the area. But I certainly did try to change it. Um, I mean, they can no longer arrest me, and I don't have to wait in line anymore, so... The city is mine to control! It should make a... like... God, it'd be so cool to just change all these different things in the city, man. And there's a whole bunch of other options. Uh, Law Factory, go. And we. Which I think what else would be cool? Like, one that gave you, like, a discount at the shop. You could have, like, he says, uh, no discounts are allowed due to law, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, oh, yeah. It, we're gonna revise that. It'd be busted if you could make them free, though. Like, you make, like, a hidden rule. Oh, there's guillotines. They can also one-shot you. I'm pretty sure. Mess. Feels good. Alright, Dart, do your thing. Not that these guys are particularly hard, you know? But. Eh, I'm gonna take those guys out. Alright. Boom! Death! Easy. Besides, I think someone's close to leveling up anyway, so it might be worth our time to kill them. Right? Was someone close? Not really, no. I mean, like, within a little bit, but we're, we're just gonna... We're just gonna move on. Uh, so I, I'm not gonna spoil much about the next boss, besides to say that the... It's more than one character, and unfortunately, one of them can just... It, it, he's one of the bosses that one-shots you when they die. So you have to target him first, unfortunately, and it's very unfortunate because I'd like to just, you know, run in there, throw Psychic Bomb X and just be done with it. Uh, and you guys just never see whatever these bosses ever end up doing, but the fact that he can one-shot you. Yeah, I don't have to wait. This should be it. Understood. Require license issue. Take the law launcher. All right. Let's go. So yeah, I wonder if I turn martial law off. Or I wonder if you have to turn martial off. Martial law being suspended. Hmm. Does this say anything about turning martial law off? Playing in line is suspended. Shops. Uh, no? Oh goodness. Sorry, I wasn't looking at my screen. I was definitely just reading. Alright, well, we have one more area to go, and then we are off. And we're going to go to the law, to the, to the area, to the thing, to the stuff. Alright. Law launcher, let's go. Man, back when I was a kid, by the way, this area was so confusing. I, d I had no idea where to go. I'm like, uh, I think I go left, right? I didn't know the difference between the launcher and stuff, and I certainly don't know legislation and stuff or how a law is made. Which, I mean, like, should I know that? I think I should. Like, doesn't it have to be, like, a bill or something? And then, like, people vote on it? I don't know, man. The fact is, it doesn't actually... Isn't anything that I can change being one person? And I feel like that really takes out a lot of my investment. I mean, it's kind of like the whole thing with, like, po politics and stuff. Like, I am not a political person. Uh, I have my opinion on some viewpoints, uh, which, I mean, almost always just boil down to as long as no one's being hurt and, uh, you know, it's... I feel like as long as no one's being hurt, I find it difficult to stand against a, like, idea like that, you know? But that's kind of my own, uh, 
political viewpoint. But other than that, like, you know, Democratic versus, like, Republican versus, I don't know, Communist or Socialist or whatever, like, I, I'm not intelligent enough in those subjects to be able to tell you the difference between viewpoints. I could probably take guesses, but I don't think I, like, would be able to tell you, oh, this idea is 100% Socialist or Communist or, you know, Liberal... Is liberal a thing? Libertari libertarians or something? Or lobbyists? Like, I have no idea, dude. I really don't know and I really don't care. And I think the reason I don't care is because it there's nothing I can really do about it, you know? Like, if something changes that directly affects me, yes, I'll, I'll care. Like, if they're like, oh, hey, by the way, YouTube changed their coding or whatever, you know, then I, I kind of read up on that and I'm like, oh, what is different? Oh, okay, I have to say if my videos are designed for... Uh, children, and I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? It's like, oh, if they're designed for children, you can't do these certain things or something, and it looks like it's just more hassle than it's worth, so I just mark all of my content as not for children, and just be done with it. Because I'm like, I don't know the difference, so I'm just gonna say no, even though I'm like sitting here playing video games, you know? Like, I, I wouldn't say I'm like aiming for children, I feel like that'd be more like uh, you know, this is how you tie your shoe, or um, this is how to sip soup? I don't, I don't, I don't know. What, what do children need to watch? All right, let's go. You. I want to go. Hey, okay, everybody, get back on your Pokeballs. I didn't tell you to get out. The law prohibiting humans from going to the Signet Sphere. I know that, but it should be revised now. No revision has been received. Hey, you, can't you be more flexible? Even my spell's not that strong, but I'm here. Why don't you just let us go? The law prohibits humans from going to the Signet Sphere. The world crisis is near at hand, you son of a bitch! Whoa! No interest in world crisis, angry old man. Only entrance is in the law. Speaking of which... Wingly Code Article 73 revised, enforced immediately. The law does not prohibit non-winglies from going to the Signet Sphere. It says, does not prohibit! It seems the produced law is launched, arrives, and then is enforced. They're treating laws as if they're commodities. That's... that's all it was, anyway. The law was merely a tool to judge other creatures for them. The Winglies. We spent too much time with that tool. We gotta... we gotta ask questions, like, where did my lower body go? You know, real important questions, like, what happened to Kongol's right arm? And, uh, you know, real important questions. Alright, everyone get your Pokeballs. Hey, let's go, bud. You're at the flying destination of the terminal. Determine your destination, please. The Great Court. Confirming destination. And we Audi. Hey, here's a question. Why couldn't he just fly us over there? You know? I don't- I don't see why he couldn't just fly us. I feel like that would have worked. Also, it would have been- you were at the disc station. Signet Sphere should be here, yeah? Signet Sphere, Signet Sphere, Signet Sphere. Dart Rose, Hatchel, Hatchel, Come on, we're to need You good, Ka? Confirmed. Accused. Accused? What is it saying? You are at the flying disc station in front of the Great Court. Ugh, guys, this is a waste to ask. I'm just gonna check and make sure I'm still recording, because I get paranoid. Alright. So let's go ahead and save before we fight this next boss. Uh, Flanville Tower? Oh, that's when we fought Faust. Which, I'm, I'm, I'm not going back and fighting him again. Uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna move on from that. Got all that gold. Nice gold. Alright, so first things first, enhancements. Uh, HP monsters as names. And... Do I want to do anything with the difficulty for these guys? I mean, we're basically messing with the difficulty for every boss after this, so... Not really. Do I want to? Nah, let's go. Because, nah, 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 we good, we good, we good. Although I probably wanted to give Miranda a, um... Where are we? Hold on one second. I probably did want to give her save state, save slot one? 
Sure, why not? I don't care. I uh, probably did want to give Miranda the um, talisman so that she wouldn't just be insta-killed whenever this boss dies. And still, no. Guilty, 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 guilty. My name is Nomus. I am the justice. My word is the only truth. We are here to protect the Cygnus Sphere. Let us go through here. Accuse, Dart, Rose, Albert, Hashel, Miranda, Maru, and Congo. It seems you know we are here for the Cygnus Sphere. And you're trying to intervene. Why? Accusation. The will of the creator. So, uh... It's not working. Oh no, is this being manipulated by my father as well? Thus, the death penalty is sentenced. Come out, winged executioners. Victor, Syllabus, cool bill, blah, blah, start the execution. Here we go, boys. Alright, so let's go ahead and kick some butt. This is honestly a really fun fight, by the way, because this fight plays differently based on who you kill first. Uh, I mean, that makes this fight so fun. So you have these three, and they're all darkness-based. But the fun part about him is, so this guy here, when he dies, he ends to kill somebody. Um, if you kill him first, she kisses this guy and makes his attack super strong. So you've, I think what I want to do is... God, I mean, Miranda can honestly just one-shot all of them. Uh, but I don't want to. I wonder if I bite the bullet and don't use any dragoon magic here. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna power her up. Yeah. I'm gonna power up Miranda. And... Is it their move? Yeah, Scissor Boy. Scissor, Scissor, Scissor. Nice job, dude. Uh, Maru, I want you to... I want to power down him. Yeah, let's just make sure he dies. Like, before anything else, let's power him down. We'll speed him down. Uh, speed down him. I'm going to kill him, then the death guy. And then, as long as Miranda survives, she'll just res whoever gets killed. These poor guys, dude. This honestly is a tough fight. Alright, cool. So we're gonna kill him. I'm trying to think how I want to kill him. Because Miranda's powered up, so when she goes, it's gonna hurt. Alright, uh. Magic shield block that, I wonder? Probably not. But I want her to use her special? No, I don't want special. Do I want special? I mean, we can always use single target spells and focus people down that way. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and do it. Because, I mean, everyone needs to be a dragon form anyway. I mean, we've already cast all the spells I care to cast. I mean, the only thing left is, like, uh, you know, flame waves and stuff, but and this would be the match or the place to do that, but I'm not going to do that because I want to have more control over the fight and control over HP, everyone's HP values, so that's why we're kind of hanging out. Alright, Maru, Freeze Ring, this, yeah, well, Diamond Dust instead, hit everyone. Uh, yeah, Diamond Dust. Go ahead and hit everybody. You don't need to hit just one. I think this is just three Freeze Rings. Hit Dart's foot. He's like, my foot! You know, it's been about... 20 minutes since I've said it, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it again. Have you guys just paid attention to how awesome Maru is? She's pretty good. There's the toenail that she makes. Uh, so I just see a toenail. I don't care what anyone says. Diamond dust. She's so cool. Oh. Uh, I didn't one-shot him, but he is certainly low. Alright, who's next? Probably the wing girl. Yeah, so she casts a lot of status effects, uh, which are going to be not very useful versus my party as they stand right now. 
dart. Uh, I want him to use explosion, but at the same time, I don't want him to kill anybody but that guy. So we're going to. I could cast Red Eye Dragon and just guarantee the. Oh, that hits everybody. Okay. Uh, you know, Final Burst. We haven't seen Final Burst in a hot minute. So this will. I love the text on here. It's written at 175%. It absolutely is not 175%. It is 75%. The person who types that mistyped. So you read that, and your final or like I think it's um, the like red eye dragon. You're like 175%. And, no, it's not. Poor guys. It is not. All right. So this should kill him. So we don't have to deal with his superpower craziness. Yeah, he's dead. All right. And now, we want to kill Death. And pray to god he doesn't hit Miranda. 475. Oof. Not a whole bunch, but still. What is this? Oh. That's right, she does heal. Which is a minor inconvenience. Alright, magic. Uh, freeze ring. I forget she's the healer. She's like the spell caster of the group. So she does the whole, like, hey, status effects and healing. So it's this weird thing of, like, who do you want to take out first? That's what makes this fight so fun. Because you have to take out this guy, because as soon as he's dead, he's going to cast sense to kill on somebody. If you kill uh, him first, by the way, the woman kisses the guy, makes him stronger. If you kill the bird first, uh, I forget what happens. If you kill the winged one. Is this insta kill? Please don't be insta kill. Yep, insta kill. Wow. Rip. Can't combat. <sighs> God, what a jerk. Killing my Maru, you son of a bitch. Screw you, dude. Alright, uh. God, I want to hit him, but I don't want to hit him that hard. I want Maru to be able to get up so she can possibly take the hit. Yeah, I I don't think I wanted to perfect that anyway. I mean, if I did, it would have been nice, but my, I don't want to. Because I don't want to. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered. I don't want, uh... Alright, Moon Child, get her up. Let's go ahead and resurrect our Maru. I think you can also do it with Gates of Heaven, and that also heals everybody, but I don't- no one else really needs to heal right now, so. Moon Light! Moon Light! With the most American accent ever. Ah, uh, she's American, failure. Heal. I really wish this was a full restore, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Maru's alive, that's what's important. Alright, who's next? Uh, speaking of which, it's Maru! And I don't want her to transform. Go ahead and see if she can kill him. Is that a kill? I no. I think he had 800, right? <laughs> uh, he's casting kill anyway. Please be not Miranda. Okay, that works too. Rip. Can't combat. Alright, so is he dead then? Uh, I think I killed him. Yes, alright, so that's like the best case scenario what just happened. Uh, Maru could transform. Uh, do I want her to transform? Let's speed up. Magic shield. I can cast magic shield on dart? He's dead though. That's, that's funny. Uh, you know what, Magic Sigil stuff. <laughs> just waste your turn. I just want Miranda to go. That doesn't work. At least I don't think it works. Miranda. Moonlight. Dart. Now I'll just transform them back into dragons. Yo, so this worked perfectly. So out of all the possibilities that could happen, Miranda needed to stay alive for all of them. And, um, you know, everyone else needed to take the hits. Or I needed to give her uh, talismans so she could not die. So 
all in all, this was you know, a perfect fight, I think. Uh, well, everyone's up, so speed up. I don't know, who wants to go? Uh, flash Hall, it's Thunder. Gravity Grabber. I don't really care, we'll just have Miranda full heal everyone when she gets around to it. Yes. Go. Oops. Oh, 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 oops. What's she gonna do? It doesn't matter what she does. She can't do damage. Yeah. I mean, she can try to do damage, but... Oh, she had tentacles! I just noticed that! <gasps> Shikoshus. Dang it! I didn't know she had AV. It's obnoxious. She has to go again, though? What's her MS? 60? Oh, Vector was 25 MS. Oh, it feels bad for him. Alright, let's try again. Hiya! Dang it! It's that! Dude, whenever you have a new camera angle, it just throws you off. What on earth is this? Oh, this attack. I remember, I know what this is. I think! Oh, yeah, I know this attack. Uh really weird zombie brains. And I think it can cast fear. I think it can if it hits. Alright, magic. White silver dragon. I'm just go and take her out. Yay. Okay, I thought about just healing everybody, but I was like, nah, she's only got a thousand HP. We'll just go ahead and guarantee the one shot. Like, I don't know why you would ever cast Gates of Heaven. Gates of Heaven is such a bad spell. I feel like if Gates of Heaven would res everybody, res them to full, cure all status effects, heal everybody, and then block future status effects for like two turns or something, uh, it would be a good spell. But the fact is, once you get White Silver Dragon, you'll never cast Gates of Heaven again unless you need to res two people. Otherwise, you'll just cast Moonlight, because Miranda has the movement speed to justify just casting, you know, White Silver Dragon. Well, no. Easy. Give me my level ups. And all my gold! Because I definitely need that. <gasps> Yay! <gasps> Yay! Mmm. Listen to the level up sound. Oh, it's so good. Oh, is Dark gonna level? Is this gonna be a feels good man? He's got a lot to go. No. <gasps> Rose! Yay! Albert, no one told you to level up. Get back down there. Yay. Nice. Alright, well, let's pick up with the story real quick. Uh, Namus? Master hurry. Master hurry. To the god. Rebels against Soa will overcome me. Ooh. The sickness fear's over there. Come on. Let's go. I thought about leaving, but I've, I've done that in the past. Nothing happens. I can really get an encounter right? That's so dumb. I can get an encounter going here. The Signet- oh, excuse me. The Signet Sphere. He's done it. It's losing its magical power. This Moon Dagger is serving as proof. How on earth did he get here? Oh, right. He can fly. That jerk. Now, the sky is one of my roads, too. Father, can you hear space, the movements of the god of destruction, as if a hymn to the new world? It sounds like an outcry to the world to me. With the outcry, Shana will be reborn to the god who no longer knows you. Oof. Oh. What's Maru doing? She wasn't like shoot a fireball at him. She she to she to shoot a fireball. She desired that, too. She, she does not. You'll see when you meet her. But for Shauna, you are a mere object to be destroyed. Wait, Mate! He's not Zig. Then who on earth is he? We'll find out in the city of the last Signet Sphere. I will in Mayfield. All right, cool, let's go. Hey, what happened to the Moon Dagger? Did, did we acquire the Moon Dagger? Did we pick it up? Did we do anything with it? 
I don't want to get into an encounter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to progress to the next city. That's where we're going to now. Oh, wait. I think I need to change the wall one more time to go there. So, there's gonna be that. Uh, Psychic Bomb go. It's so nice when you get Psychic Bomb X. You just, like, oh, look, an encounter. I sure hope I can just, you know, get this power up to, like, 130. And, you know. Yay. Easy. Because, like, I mean, like I said, once you have full Dragoon level, once you have all of your uh, additions maxed out, you, you lose any any and all motivation to actually fight monsters. You just you just throw a psychic bomb and move on with your life. Like, oh, ah, well, give me my experience, give me my gold, and I'll move on. But then when you have, like, max gold like this, you, you don't even care about that anymore. You are in fire, just surrender into a great destination. Teleporting device. Destination confirmed. Whee! All right, so I think the next thing... Um... Is I need to change the law so I can go to the next city, right? Yes. So I need to do that. Hi there, you. Martial law is relaxed. Uh, revision is required to move to the Death City Mayfield. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna turn to combat, I think. Wait. <laughs> All right, cool. So now we can change the uh, law for no more encounters, if that's what we want. Um, I'll probably do that on my own time, though, just so we can move things along. You know, so be like, oh yeah, if we ever come back here, we won't... I can't think of a reason we'd ever come back here, though, you know? Because we've got all the armors that I wanted. Because uh, I wanted Rose to have one of those armors. I think I might go back and buy an extra legend, two legend sets, like the helmet and the armor, um, just to have them. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. But sorry, I'm being quiet because I had a burp. I don't know why I have an extra gassy today. Oh my. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh jeez. Alright, cool. So, run up to him, skip these guys, and now we use the change the law that lets us, is this revision of the law again? Yes. Uh, state the number of the article to be revised, second, first digit to the left, and it is number, uh, 410, got it. Four. One. Zero. We need to cover for the students. Setting the teleporter device connected to the SUV field shall be disconnected. Uh, no, set it to connected. Take this. Yay. Next deliberation. Eh, let me out. Cool. Alright. Well, after I had finished this video, I was gonna hang out Max and chillax all cool and shoot some B ball with one of my friends. Uh, let's see if, uh, with Miss Gail, uh, excuse me, Laspira, otherwise known as Gailey. Uh, let's see if we can get her in here real quick, just to like, I guess, have someone else to talk to for the rest of this video. So, there we go. Dang it. And curses. Meow. Meow, I'm recording. So just don't don't scream any racist, sexist, or homophobic things. It's not that kind I mean, of channel. You don't have to worry about me doing that. I'm not Jerry. Okay, like, Whoa, dude! Why are you calling people out like that, dude? I didn't. I used a a, um, a pseudonym. I don't know. Uh, a, a what? I used a fake name. Uh, an alias? There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Do you even know what a pseudonym is? I. Dude, I thought I did, um, and then I why well, I know it's that it's not that. I just couldn't think of the. Listen. Oh, oh she's right. Whatever <laughs> it is. I'm gonna work for a while. 
Mm. It doesn't matter. You said listen. You're right. Alright, so now we want to go to the law factory. So I'm in a city where you can change laws just to whatever you want. So, uh, Alaska, if you could change any law, what would you change? Um, speed limits. Fuck them. Just, no. <laughs> this... Turn them off. <laughs> so earlier when I said that I don't have content for children, um, I tried to refrain from using F-bombs, but that restriction does not apply to my friends. I remember one time I was, uh, I went to an anime convention with my friends, and, uh, we went to Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast, and, uh, while we were there, there was a little kid that sat next to us, right, and his mother, and my friend dropped, like, three F-bombs in one sentence, and I looked at her and I said, hey, can you, like, just because there's a kid nearby, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be saying language like that. I'm not, like, a parent or anything, but, like, you gotta have some respect. And she's like, okay, I won't fucking say him anymore. I'm sorry, I, I just, I, I can't, and she couldn't stop! She just... Who I mean, I'm not gonna call this. YouTube's not the platform to call people out, dude. No, I don't. I'm, I'm recording, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say people's names. Is it someone I also know? I mean, you can ask after the video's up, dude. <laughs> I don't sure. think you need to be all wet and bothered and ask now. I don't feel like that's fair. Fair enough. Yes. Um. But I just think it's you know when you're recording videos, you try to not be as specific as possible, but also tell the story. Alright, now we're gonna go to the legislation's... No, the law launcher. You guys almost want to go to the wrong area. How dare you? you just turn off those speed limits. You just turn off speed limits altogether? Just turn off those speed limits. See what happens. Uh, bumper cars. That's what happens. Just, 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 turn, just turn off those speed... Dude, it's fine. Everyone just, can just put a, a steel bumper on their car. <laughs> a steel bumper at 88 miles an hour. Yeah, that, that'll stop. You can... I think, uh, the only law I, mean, I would they're... probably change would be that healthcare costs money. Okay, well you're out here doing, like, good things that make sense. How dare I, right? Daily's over here trying to turn off things that make, make the game real fun. Oh, well in that case, uh, everyone- any, there's no restriction on firearm purchase. Well, just- that, 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 That's not- that's less fun and more murder. Um... You just took all speed limits away! That doesn't guarantee. Okay. Well, I mean, that doesn't. That's not like things that people. Okay. No. Uh, you see. Listen. I can't, I can't justify it. So. Just all you gotta do is say listen, and you're right. No. Stop it right now. Mm. Why don't Why don't we make it? <laughs> Speed limits are, are perfectly fine, and there's still the laws on gun purchasing guns, but all laws. For gun purchases are disregarded so long as you actively are holding it out of your car. <laughs> I like the idea of there is no like law against purchasing a gun, but you have to be going over the speed limit to do so. <laughs> yes. Yes. There you go. That's perfect. All right. In, we... order to, in order to use your gun, you have to be going over the speed limit and actively driving. There you go. Only drive-bys, boys. Feels bad, man. <laughs> you can only do drive-bys. Dude, gangs will get it easy. What? Gangs do more things than drive-bys? Sometimes normal people just do drive-bys. I mean, I don't, but, but you know. <laughs> then, what is it? What is these normal people you speak of that are doing I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, I mean, you tell me. You're the one who's like, all these gang members are doing drive-bys now. I mean, I live close to Baltimore. Wow, you just threw it. So I don't actually, I'm not responsible for anything anyone else says when they get in my videos. I'm not going to put down an entire city, dude. I, that's not the whole city. There are nice people in Baltimore, too. But it's like the Bloods and the Crips are there. Gang. Actual gang violence. Everyone knows about it. All right, so we are, are we able to go to Mayfield now? We are. All right, so we're going to change our mind because that was apparently an option. Uh, I am going to hit escape, and then make a save state, save slot 1, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it here, uh, and we'll pick up next time when we jump to the death city that it is. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will absolutely see you guys in the next video. Uh, Last Spira, is there anything you want to say? Um, 
All I know is that the Death City sounds like a pl really pleasant place. Let's go on a vacation there. Alright, see you in the next video.